Hi there, my name is Wayne Headland, and in today's video, we're going to talk about communication within the online project management platform, Asana. Now, Asana is a powerful tool to uh, facil help uh, organizations facilitate project management and to help individuals be productive in the things that they're doing. But it is also a, a, a great tool to help with collaboration and in particular communication between teammates. It's, a, it's got a, a feature uh, that will allow you to connect the dots between uh, actual work that is getting done and communication about that work. For instance, if I jump over to my warehouse expansion project in my demo workspace with my interesting set of characters who are working together, I can actually have various tasks in, um, uh, you know, the project. But you'll notice here there is a comment bubble that is popping up here, and I can actually have communications with my teammates about that particular task. Or I can actually have communications with my teammates for the entire warehouse expansion. I've got uh, six people who are on the team and we can have messages back and forth. Uh, we can even do that at the team level, project level, goals, etc. So this is a great tool to help us connect the dots between uh, communication and the work that is being done inside of Asana. However, my experience is that a lot of times when organizations do not understand some of the rules of the road in Asana to be able to communicate uh, effectively, what happens is is uh, people either don't use the tool or they use it in such a way that they feel overwhelmed by notifications or emails or they can't, they feel like they're missing out on communications. So in today's session, I'm going to share with you four of the most important, in my opinion, four of the most important best practices to communicate and collaborate within Asana. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump over to them. Again, I'm logged in as my friend Fred, 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 Fred Flintstone. And so what we're going to do is look here and we see at the, on the on the left navigation, we have our home page, which is where I'm right now, the, my tasks where uh, Fred's going to be able to see all of his to-dos uh, spread throughout the entire organization. And then, of course, we have the Inbox. Now, the inbox is a great tool, and it's I, uh, meant by Asana to be used, uh, first of all, for you to get notifications from Asana about things that Asana thinks you need to know, but it's also supposed to be where you're able to be able to communicate back and forth. Now, what most people find when they go into an, uh, the inbox, uh, uh, for the first time at least, and initially after that, is they feel like they cannot find the communications that they need, they get overwhelmed by all of the notifications that Asana sends. So the number one first uh, best practice that we want to engage for individuals, basically I re recommend all four of these best practices for everybody on your team, is to start off by going to notification settings. So let's talk about notification settings. You can find notification settings by going to inbox and clicking on manage notifications, or you can go ahead and click on settings over here and jump over to notifications. Both places will take you to the exact same place. Let me walk you through the notifications I recommend for you to your team. Now, the first one is browser notifications, or if you're using the desktop app, app it'll say desktop notifications. Now, my uh, recommendation, actually strong recommendation, is that you make sure this is turned off, okay? Set it to nothing. Uh, and the reason for that is, is otherwise we're going to get interrupted on a regular basis. Whenever someone wants to send a message or whenever Asana wants to let you know about something, you will get a pop-up notification from Asana. Of course, most of us know in the psychology world, uh, you know, the more distractions that we get, the less likely it is that we're able to focus on the work that we need. Now, if you happen to be in an environment where you really uh, need to know when someone's trying to communicate to, with you right away, uh, you could use this mentions or you can go ahead and use Slack or Teams or something like that for that kind of communication. So I recommend turning that off to nothing or at the very minimum mentions. The second one, I'm not going to focus on the Slack notifications and how that works. That would be another engagement. Uh, we have project notifications, super important. So uh, to understand project notifications, you'll see that there's three different kinds of notifications that Asana will send you related to projects, status updates, messages, and tasks added. Status updates are going to be when someone actually updates a project. There's a particular place in Asana where someone can say, hey, this project is on track or it is off track or it needs help. And so when someone creates a status update, that's what this is going to be. So for some employees who really uh, or maybe are not at that level or they don't need that, 
we can turn that off. Message is going to be if someone tries to send a message at the project level, that would be right here at, at the messages level, project level, then you want to be able to make sure that you receive those notifications. I recommend you turn that on. And then tasks added is going to be, Asan's going to send you a notification whenever tasks are added into a project, regardless of whether or not they're assigned to you or not. So if I create a new task right here, new task, then Asana is going to give a notification uh, to everyone who's um, a, a collaborator on the project if you have tasks added, turned on. So we want to actually turn that off. Now, just so you understand, these three um, uh, toggles right here for project notifications, they are setting up the default for any project that you will be invited into in the future. In other words, if you've already been invited into projects as collaborators, for example, my friend Fred is already a collaborator on Warehouse Expansion, setting these settings will not change uh, the notifications for that project. This is setting the default for in the future if you're invited into that project. So now we have to actually go into individual projects and you'll see right here, Warehouse Expansion and a whole bunch more. My friend Fred has been invited into a million projects, and so he's going to probably need to take a couple of minutes and actually toggle all of these off um, uh, for him. He does not want these notifications. This is going to limit and slow down the number of notifications that Asana is going to send to him. So this is what I recommend. Now, some people are going to ask, well, what if I want to know when tasks are added to a project? Not a problem. You can actually go into that project and you can set the notification for yourself and for your team right here if you want. So I could say for this one, I actually want to know, or you can do that within the notification right here. Find the project you're looking for and you can toggle that on or off as needed. But generally speaking, for the vast majority of people that I work with, we want that to be off for project notifications. The next notification is portfolio notifications. Again, if you're utilizing portfolios and you're interested in the status updates, we can turn that on or off. Messages, usually we leave that on if you're collaborating in a portfolio. And then the same thing applies here uh, as it does with projects. Now, the next one is super important, and that is email notifications. By far the most uh, often, you know, frustration that I, I hear from people is the the massive amount of emails that they will receive from Asana uh, to let them know about all kinds of things happening in Asana. By default, at least at the time of this recording, Asana sets your email notifications to all activity, which means that pretty much every single time something happens inside of Asana that Asana thinks you need to know, Asana will send you an email. Sometimes I get into the, I forget to turn this off when I move into a new account, uh, into a new client's account, and we'll be doing a training and I'll ask the trainees to assign a whole bunch of tasks to me as part of the training experience. And sometimes there'll be 50 or 100 or more tasks. And then later on, I'll open up my email inbox and be like, ugh, seriously, I forgot to turn that off. And I've got like all these notification emails that I have to remove. So at the very, at the very minimum, I recommend that you at least turn this to mentions only. And we'll talk about mentions in a moment. Uh, so this is when you're mentioned or at mentioned on a task, then you will get an email. Um, now, uh, it's also when a, a task will be assigned to you. So every single time someone assigns you a task, Asana will send you an email. Now, a uh, little bit of an advanced hack or advanced uh, uh, suggestion or recommendation. If you don't like all those emails whenever a task is assigned to you, for most email clients, you can actually go in and create a special rule like an Outlook or in Google that basically says, hey, if I receive a task or an email from Asana that says, hey, a task has been assigned to you, then go ahead and archive or delete that email. Now, the ideal in Asana is that you actually set this to none. The only time I would recommend you set your email notifications to none is if you are in Asana on a daily basis and you're in the habit of checking your email or I'm sorry, your Asana inbox, then I would say, hey, let's go ahead and make sure that that is set to none so that you're not double dipping, right? So you're not getting notifications both in Asana and in your email inbox. And this is the most ideal. It's gonna be the most efficient for you, but you do have to be in that habit. 
Daily summaries, uh, sometimes I don't know people will have this turned on. So they just get an email once a day, first thing in the morning saying, hey, here's some tasks that are assigned to you, et cetera, et cetera. Some people like that just as a reminder to check their Asana and see what's going on. The weekly reports are for people who are very interested, supervisors and various people who are interested in the whole status update side. So for my friend Fred, he's actually going to turn that off. And then I usually recommend people turn off likes, which is a new uh, notification, relatively new, uh, at least at the time of this video. And I recommend that we turn that off. We don't probably usually need to get emails every time someone gives us a like. All right, so those are the email notifications that I recommend. Uh, have this to be at mentioned or set to none. And daily summaries on or off at your, uh, uh, whatever you wish, and weekly uh, reports and likes is the same. The last thing that we have down here is this do not disturb feature. Now, do not disturb is something that you can experiment with. You can actually tell us on to not send notifications at certain times of the day or on certain days. I usually don't pay too much attention because I only go into my inbox when I want to. All right, so that takes care of notifications. Hugely important. That's going to reduce the number of notifications that you have. So number one, uh, most important best practice for communication and collaboration inside of Asana is to make sure you manage your notifications, uh, you know, utilizing the recommendations that I give gave. The second um, really most important uh, best practice for not just for you who's watching this video, but everybody on your team. This, these next two are hugely important. They're, they're really team wide best practices that are, you know, meant for the entire organization. When the entire organization adopts these best practices that are Asana best practices, not something I made up. Uh, then it's going to greatly uh, influence everyone's ability to uh, communicate well and not miss any communications inside of Asana. It's also going to encourage you to turn off your email notifications when everyone starts following the rules, as it were. So this second one is going to be this. When you go to your Asana inbox, get into the habit uh, and, and get used to filtering by app mentioned. And you say, well, what in the world is that? Well, first of all, let me just kind of give you a clue. As you can see right here, there are a ton of notifications that Asana has given me. These are just overwhelming. There's a lot happening here. But what you will also realize is as I'm scrolling through, you will see there's actually communications. So Asana is kind of mixed communications with my teammates with notifications from Asana. And if I'm not careful, I will miss them. So here is a communication that was sent by me to my friend Fred saying, hey, let's discuss the roadblocks uh, related to a particular task and let's add it to the one-on-one. -on -one. So I actually assigned a task to him without actually creating a task, which was usually not, not really wise on my part, but unfortunately it happens a lot. So it's really important that Fred sees this particular conversation, which is attached to a task, which is inside uh, this warehouse expansion project, but you'll see it's a comment right here. But there's a good chance that Fred will miss it because he will not realize that it's kind of buried in all of the other notifications here. So to get around that, what we're going to do, and again, this is just how Asana was built. It's kind of like telling Asana, hey, just show me my communications in Asana and turn off all of those uh, 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 notifications. So we're going to filter by app mentioned. And now you will see I have a very clear understanding of communication back and forth between me and others. So I can see that this status update, which I didn't even notice, I actually missed it when I was scrolling through there. I, I did not even see that. But now, of course, I see it very clearly. I have two communications uh, and I can go ahead and thumb up or respond or do whatever I need to to make sure that uh, we know what's going on. Same thing with this one here. I can see that there's notification. I can actually go ahead and turn that into a follow-up class, uh, a follow-up task for myself to, uh, to, to go ahead and do that, or I might just do it on the fly while I look at that. And then, of course, I would archive both of these conversations. Okay, so the number one best practice for communication in Asana was to manage notifications. The number two is to get in the habit for all of your team uh, to uh, uh, use this at mentioned filter so that we can kind of see our communications back and forth. However, that begs the question, there is kind of clearly a number three best practice that we have to make sure everybody on the team uh, facilitates. And this is perhaps 
uh, the one that if we miss, work might not get done or communication might not happen and someone might find themselves scratching their heads because they missed a, a communication. And that is to always, here's number three, always at mention the people that you want to communicate with inside of Asana. Okay, so I have two tasks here and I'm actually going to have Fred communicate with me. He's going to, uh, I've already communicated with him that he's going to reassign and I might just say, you know, thanks um, so much, Wayne. All right. Now in this particular scenario, I am not at mentioning. Okay. So I'm not at mentioning Wayne at all. And incidentally, I'm going to jump over to Wayne's inbox and I'll see that he's got no communications in here. He's feeling very happy about what's going on. Jumping back over to Fred, he's going to send that comment. So in this comment right here, the finalized task, he's also going to uh, at, uh, send a comment to Wayne. But in this particular case, he's going to say, thanks at mention, Wayne. Uh, have a great uh, day, right? So we, we did that and we'll go ahead and comment there. So both of them, we pretty much communicated the same thing, but one was with an at mention and the other one wasn't. Let's jump over to Wayne's. Uh, inbox. And now I can see the one where he at mentioned me. But if I don't personally think to turn this filter off, I will not see that other one there. And so consequently, uh, I might miss something important, right? So we always need to make sure that we at mention whenever we're sending communications, even if the, the individuals that we're communicating with are already collaborators uh, on the task or on the communication, we still want to at mention. I like to tell people whenever you type an email, you know, usually there's a two and there's a CC and there's a BCC, right? So, uh, so I usually tell people think of the at mention in Asana as kind of putting into the two, uh, the, 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 the people that you want to communicate with. In fact, I know some organizations that actually do that. They actually put in their BCC or whatever. You can't BCC, so that doesn't really work. But they, I, I know people uh, who actually, you know, do it in this way so that they can see what's going on. Or they might say to uh, Fred, or they'll communicate it right inside. They'll say, uh, hey, at mention Fred, and then they'll ha say what they want to say, for instance, right here. And then they might at the very bottom say CC and at mention Joy, uh, right? And then they'll send that comment uh, to those people. So that's the number three best practice. And incidentally, uh, just so you know, let's just kind of look at this right here. Uh, we've got these two um, uh, communications, but if I turn this filter off, you will note that I have hidden in here, and I'm not even sure if I'll be able to find it right here. Uh, Fred, do you think we should move this to next month? So here's a communication from me to Fred. It was 30 minutes ago, but Fred did not see it, right? Because I didn't at mention him. All right, so I've kind of hit that one pretty hard. Number one, best practice, manage notifications. Number two, get into the habit of filtering at mention, which is kind of turning off notifications and letting us just see communications. Number three, always at mention so that that filter functions well. And then the last best practice for um, everybody in your organizations to communicate clearly and effectively is going to be to get into the habit of going zero inbox in Asana. Asana is meant to be a zero inbox. Say, what is zero inbox? Zero inbox is when we take our communications and our notifications and we archive them. You see right here, this archive tab. So I'm in the activity tab. A lot of people in their emails, they're just used to like letting those emails there, leaving them there to kind of visually see and, and scroll through. But in Asana, it's meant to be archived. So right here, this little button that says archive notification, can take this one and archive that notification. And now uh, I've gone zero inbox, at least when it comes to my app mentions. Usually I will do the same thing. I'll turn the app mention filter off and we can do that either by clicking on the filter and turning it off or just clicking clear filters. And then the other thing that I'll usually do once or twice a day, sometimes several times, is I'll just scroll through all of the other notifications that Asana has given me and say, is there anything else in here that I think is important? Maybe I want to know when tasks are added or something else. And then I don't go in and individually archive these. I just click on the three dots and say, archive all. Now I'm super happy, I'm up to date. I've got zero inbox, things are looking good.
And of course, if my friend uh, Wayne here, that's me, if I decide to say something else uh, to Fred, as long as I follow those rules, I can go ahead and say, Fred, um, uh, don't forget um, to bring the cookies, right? <laughs> I have no idea. Then we're going to click that comment. Of course, even though it's part of a task and a thread that Fred and I have already been part of, when we jump back over to Fred's space, it's going to pop right up. I'm going to see it. I'll be able to thumb that up or do whatever I need to and then archive it. All right, so that is what I've got for you. The four most important best practices uh, in, to communicate within Asana, manage your notifications, uh, use the at mention filter, make sure you always at mention the people you want to communicate with, make sure so that they'll see them and go zero inbox in your head. You do these things, I guarantee you it will greatly improve your communication. It'll streamline um, uh, your conversations back and forth and it will make things neater and cleaner uh, and, and provide less clutter so that you can think better and so your team can be more efficient and productive. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like more tips or tricks, feel free to check out my website, wayneheadland.com, and uh, have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye now.